Alright, what's up guys? So, IGN has uploaded the first preview for the... I, I'm curious about this game. I, I've seen that they released other Dune games. But I remember I was watching Dune one day. And I caught like... I think I caught like more so the middle of it. But I was like, no, nah, this is a movie where I gotta like sit down and fully watch it. And, uh, you know, just just see see how it all originated. You know, just, just see all the history behind this. Because I think... This, it's supposed to be a remake like they made a dune movie like years ago but then they made a newer version then they come out with a second one i don't know i'm not good with my movies nowadays like there's just so many movies coming out and i'm like i'm trying to keep up with all of them so yeah i know there's gonna probably be people watching this and be like oh you're not a dune fan but i seen with this uh game where it was supposed to be like an open world and yeah i'm curious you know me you know i love my open world games i'm curious about this game so anyways with that being said let's go ahead and get to this video make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to ign with that being said as a massive fan of survival games and Dune, I'll admit to being a bit skeptical about an open world survival game that takes place on the famously barren planet of Arrakis. But after an hour long presentation of the upcoming Dune Awakening, those concerns have disappeared entirely. They look good. Based on the hands off showcasing of what's to come when this MMO survival game hits early access later this year, it certainly appears that developer Funcom has taken their hard won learnings from the underrated Conan Exiles and applied it to this ambitious multiplayer world set in one of sci-fi's most beloved galaxies. Whether it was the impressively detailed it like character man creation, did, like worked on a good majority of it. So yeah, I'm I, I'm most likely going to get this game. Creation options, the intricate in RPG systems now. filled with skill trees and craftables, or the absolute insanity of trying to outrun a Shai Halud or escape a massive sandstorm. Dune Awakening appears That's to be on track stuff. to become the sci-fi survival game I've always dreamt of, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. That is crazy. Arrakis is a test. I already know playing this with friends, it's like it's just gonna be just non-stop screaming. Phew. Survive. Especially when that thing be coming up out the ground. How do you make a survival game set in an utterly desolate wasteland of sand? Well, according to Funcom, the answer lies in the hidden spaces of Arrakis. Described in Frank Herbert's novels, these hidden pockets of shade and refuge are home to life and microbiomes that will be altogether unfamiliar to those who have only seen the movies. But Dune Awakening uh, okay. hopes to lean pretty heavily on their the existence now. to fill the massive desert with things for players to do. Whether that be fun. Well, I feel like that would be the twist to it, though. Like, because you guys sit down and think about it. Like, if you don't watch the movies, like, I feel like if I watch the movies, then I kind of know what to expect. So, like, if I don't watch the movies, I feel like I should play the game first and then at some point in time. So, I guess, like, it could be authentic. Like, you know, you could really be thinking, like, dang, what situation am I in right now? So, that's, I think, how I ain't, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably be, like, halfway through this game and be all like, now nah, I gotta go watch the movies and stuff. Who knows? I might even watch this, um, the movies this weekend. I don't know when this game gonna come out. So, I'm like, yeah, I it, I can see it at some point in time. I'm most like, I'm over here thinking the game's already out. But, no, I can see myself at some point in time. I'm most likely gonna end up watching the movies. So. A pocket of shelter to build a base in, delving into a cave that's home to hostile creatures, or taking down remote enemy bases in search of loot and resources. In fact, the wide open empty spaces filled with hot sand might be more of an asset than a hindrance, as it allows for a heat Dang. stroke mechanic where players are punished for spending time in direct sunlight with some pretty devastating oh, wow. debuffs. Meaning players will instead need to dart from shelter to shelter, battling the elements as they explore the world wow. and its many hidden spaces. I remember, uh, whatchamacallit, the Division, the very first Division game that they came out with. They can't, they kind of had something along those lines, but it was the opposite. Um, no, they had it where it's like, you had to, like, be, no, it, they, so that was the crazy thing about the mode. So it was a survival mode, and they had it where it would be, like, negative, like, 40 degrees outside, something like that. So you would have to, like, get by a fireplace or somewhere that's, like, going to make your inside like yeah inside or a fireplace so your body temperature can uh yeah rise back up but it's like yeah they they did put you in some sort of like situation like that i think that's good you know it adds more of a challenge to the game hopefully it ain't too challenging you know i can play and get through the story and stuff but 
combined with the forever game of the floor is lava that is dodging oh, so sandworms of Arrakis, okay. players will need to remain on the move constantly and develop strategies for managing their water reserves, That's protecting crazy. against the heat, and of course, engaging in the never-ending struggle for all-important spice. In one leg of the demo, players work together to claim a massive deposit of spice while keeping an eye out for the ever-looming threat of the Shai Hulud, drawn to their activity in the desert, only to be unexpectedly overwhelmed by a sandstorm instead, which swallowed them and their precious cargo along I mean, with them. Dang, <laughs> in another section, a group no of break. players work together to infiltrate a high-level facility filled with rare materials and dangerous enemies, making sure to harvest the blood of fallen baddies to replenish their rapidly depleting water reserves. Before the demo, I had a lot of questions about how a Dune survival game would even work without becoming extremely monotonous in short order, but by the end, I found myself wondering why in the heck someone hadn't made one sooner. <laughs> Seeing all the clever ways Dune Awakening plans to make brilliant use of Dune's unique lore made me a believer. Good. It might be one of those games where it gets like visual, like visual. Beyond the, the major year. things Dune Awakening aims to get right, the demo also included all these little details that took my hype to the next level like how they showed off an incredibly detailed character creation engine that included things like choosing your home planet and origin to decide wow. some of your starting traits and aspects of your appearance, or how the in-depth skill trees and crafting system allowed you to drastically augment your playstyle from a telekinetic mentalist with a bag of supernatural tricks to run-and-gun soldiers with a bag of high explosives. As like someone it. who has spent a I good like deal it. of time with the Dune tabletop RPG, dreaming up the characters I'd like to portray in that universe, this looks like it'll scratch an itch I've had for decades, and I absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on it when it hits early access later this year. Arrakis is a test. Few survive it. But the humans that do... Awaken. For more, check out our recent previews of Zenless good. Zone I'm Zero and it. Fatal Fury City of Wolves. And for everything else, keep sandwalking with IGN. Yeah, I am uh, I am curious about it. You know, it's one of those games. Because I'm always looking for a new game, and so I'm like, yeah, I uh I can I could use a I could use a just an overall different game, you know, and um, yeah, then having I don't even know, I wonder it'll probably if it's available like on um Steam Deck and then uh or if well if not uh because I got the uh Lenovo Legion Go so I'm like if it got that controller support then yeah bro I'm like I I'm like I guess like you know for like for when streaming yeah you know do my streaming stuff but then also like if there's like a lot to do in that game then yeah just you know be playing it on the side of things but yeah, I'm curious about it. You know, I like games like uh the division for an example, and it does kind of like remind me of that. And, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm all for it. So, you know, when that game does come out, most likely I will be, uh, streaming it and stuff. So, but anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go subscribe to IGN for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.